guys welcome back to my channel um, this week is my 24 week update um, it's crazy that I'm getting so close to being in my second trimester I think 26 weeks is your second trimester when you get in, when you get to 26 weeks if I remember correctly from last time um, I do actually have some things to talk about this week um, some different things that I've noticed or whatever um, I also forgot to tell you guys, I think, um, when I went into the doctor for, like, maybe it was just my first checkup and they do the blood work, I, um, <clears throat> when they got the results back from that, they told me that I was, um, like, my vitamin D levels were low or something, which I don't really understand how they could be low because, I mean, I drink quite a bit of whole milk especially for an adult <laughs> I feel like I drink more than the average adult drinks um, and that's what I use for cereal and things and then also I mean I go outside for you know I try to go outside 15 20 minutes a day um, of just going outside time to like get some sun um, so I don't really know why it's low. Uh, so I have to take a vitamin D3 supplement. Um, I've been taking that since I was, I wanna say they called me. I went in for my initial appointment at nine weeks and I think they called me back maybe like a week later or something. And so since week 10, I've been taking that supplement and I'm still taking it because um, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to stop ever. They haven't really brought it up and I always forget to ask. So, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyways, there's that. And then, um, when I weighed myself, I was at the end of the week, I was 136.8 pounds. So that's a two pound gain from the previous couple weeks I have like I had stayed at 134.8 or 134 134.8 and um, so I guess it's a good thing that I finally have gained a little bit of weight I don't know I was kind of getting worried I was like why why am I not gaining anything but um, I don't know when I went in for my appointment at 24 weeks my doctor said that I looked uh, my weight gain looked really good and she thought I was gaining it a little bit slower than my last pregnancy um but like i've said in previous videos i mean i only gained 31 pounds total um last time so i don't really think that's that much but um but yeah um i still i don't have any stretch marks yet i'm praying that i don't get any um and i'm still just doing lotion and I actually recently got this um like a Johnson's baby oil but it's like a shower in shower oil or you put it on right after you get out of the shower it's thicker than just the normal baby oil and it um I feel like that kind of helps keep my skin even more moisturized um because another symptom that I've been having recently is just like my skin is so itchy. It's so itchy and uncomfortable. I don't even know what to do. It's driving me nuts because it seems like no matter how much moisturizer or water drink or whatever, it's just so itchy. Even if it feels moisturized, it's still itchy. So, um... So yeah, I, I just don't really know what to do about it. But um, I watch, um, I love watching Erin Williams. I'm not sure if any of you also watch her. She's a pretty big YouTuber, I guess, at this point. Or mommy YouTuber, lifestyle YouTuber. And she, um, I feel like I remember her talking about being really itchy. She has two little girls. And um, I want to say both of her pregnancies. I've followed her since... Her first daughter, who is now a little over two, um, since she had got pregnant with her, and she filmed pregnancy updates, 
Um, I have been watching her since then, and I want to say she, that was a symptom of hers as well, just very itchy skin. So maybe that's common, I don't know. Um, something else that I noticed this pregnancy that I definitely didn't have last pregnancy are like, um, varicose veins. Um, I don't want to say they're varicose veins because they don't like really stick out but if I rub my hand it's on my legs and I'm not gonna be able to show you but it, it's like this is just so flattering um just right beside my knee kind of on my um calf I have a very dominant looking vein um I I, I can always like see this vein but um, there's times when it, like, if I run my hand along it, I can feel it, like, sticking out. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that that's, like, what a varicose vein is when they, like, stick out. I don't know. But different veins in my body I've noticed are just a lot more predominant than they were before I got pregnant. And I really just kind of started to notice it so yeah I don't know if that's a bad thing I I'm gonna ask my doctor about it next time I go in I think I go in around 28 weeks yeah 28 weeks um, and then I also on my calf have these two little spots that are probably like the size of a quarter and they are kind of purple-ish and they look like tiny little veins and it's sore and I just noticed that as well and so that kind of makes me nervous like I don't know what that is or why I would get it I assume it is from pregnancy it's not like I hit my leg on anything um it doesn't look like a bruise um it's just super weird. So that is another um, thing that has been going on with my body. Um, but that is pretty much it as far as changes go. Um, I feel like I actually had some things to talk about <laughs> this week. I feel like the last couple weeks a whole lot hasn't changed. But I know, um, you know, going into the home stretch of this pregnancy, which is crazy to think about because, um, I mean, it's just flying by, but I can't believe we're going to have another little, another little baby soon. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I am going to do a, I'll probably do a haul of just like the few baby things that I end up purchasing um, closer to the, um, you know, closer to the end of the pregnancy. I do have some other things that I want to do, so I might towards the end end up doing them like every other week as far as the updates go so that I can make time to film. Um, I think I want to do like a what's in my hospital bag. I want to do a nursery tour, which that is slowly coming together. We have like bought a crib and some other little things and things are coming in the mail. So hopefully that gets put together soonish. I'm trying to get be on top of getting it finished a little earlier than I was with Warner's room. Um, so I will do that as well, and um, I want to do like a postpartum care basket, kind of the things that I use postpartum because I did get a lot of things from the hospital last time that I didn't, I, I wouldn't have even known that these are things that you would use or need. I just had no idea. So I am glad to have a little leg up this time and be more prepared and um, even though the hospital sends you home with a lot of things, I'll have an extra little stock here of stuff. So I do have some other things that I want to film for you guys and share. Um, but I guess for this video, that's about it. 
Um, I hope that it was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and show you my bump now. I'll just have it tanked up on. <laughs> um, this is my belly. All right, that's it for now. Um, until next time, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed and want to get notified whenever I post a new video, um, you can just hit the little bell. Oh my gosh, I feel like so out of breath all the time. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> hit the little bell and you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.